Wow! <laughs> La! Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzover, but you could call me Jen. I am a musical theatre performer and a voice teacher. And today I'm returning back to voice play, this time with something that looks absolutely incredible. Like, first of all, the thumbnail just from that, wow. This is In the Hall of the Mountain King featuring Elizabeth Garozzo. Are they Italian? <laughs> We're going with that. <laughs> this looks absolutely incredible, as I mentioned. I mean, before we even go ahead and listen, let's just find out. Do -do -do -do. Makeup, Rick, Rick Underwood and Renette Ferron. I'm gonna say straight away, props to you, well done. Arrangement Lane, okay, just wants to quick cheekily cheekily check that but yes this is a reaction and analysis video so i will be stopping and talking about the vocals there are always <laughs> lots of things to point out with voice play and be prepared for pauses if you feel like i end up pausing and talking too much you can always leave the video i have left the link to the original video in the description below so do go make sure to check that out in its full entirety if you haven't yet watched that before you're watching my video i always suggest to go watch that first because otherwise it, I, you will find it annoying. <laughs> if you do enjoy what I do over here, please do consider checking me out over on Patreon as well for little fun things over there. And do go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button to be notified anytime I post. Let's go. <laughs> we're in for a treat <laughs> wow okay now i have to remember what data dams i want to talk about let's just go back to the beginning i love how we're instantly getting a different kind of character <laughs> not only visually again makeup and prosthetics you have some mash look at all this set like it is a, it is a, it is a, it is a movie <laughs> but also vocally, we can change, you know, the tones and qualities within our vocal tract, the tone, the timbre, we can kind of shift and alter things to create different characters. And we're getting that very much so in here. <laughs> Just instantly in that introduction, we're getting like a creepy feel. No, no. So we're going F sharp B intro with Jeff. I think. Oh, Caesar's fab. Um, kind of leading with his breath that we know Caesar does well anyway. He likes a breathier kind of undertone to his vocals. Yeah, there's kind of like a... Uh, uh, like the false vocal folds kind of want to get involved. Uh, that distortion. Uh, like the false vocal folds is where that distortion comes from. Like if we were, if you are just to kind of like with your hands, grab the seat of your chair and like pull up and you're kind of like Ugh. that's where your false vocal folds are coming together so that's kind of what's happening here down we're kind of leading with that but we're still really lovely and open and it's very cheeky maybe the larynx wants to kind of come up a little bit as well um fun and i think jeff continues with his dum dum bum, bum. <laughs> Well, I'm just gonna stay in this. I've not even gone that far. Just, yeah, it's just so cheeky. Let's do it again. <laughs> Is that? Whoa! I had to sneeze. Is that um, Ellie in that? Because it kind of looks like he's not singing, but it's focusing on. 
Um, Ellie, visually, la, la, la. he's kind of like deeper than what we know him to be. A bit more gravelly. A commitment is needed for these characters and I'm here for it. Dum, 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 we're also getting kind of legato contrasting what ellie's doing legato kind of backing vocals here nice And here, we're getting a little bit of a jazzy kind of feel. It's a little bit more forward as well, rather than da 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 da, like back here and whispery and gravelly. Da 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 da. It's very nice. I feel like it's kind of speeding a little bit. There's so much going on. Lovely lars in the background. So again, contrasting to when Jeff comes in with a bum, 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 which is naturally going to be a bit darker. And the, pe the cheeks puff out a little bit. What is Lane doing? We get like a nice choral effect of that. La, la, and then that drop from Jeff. So much goodness. Oh my God, it's so far. So much is happening. <laughs> oh, I want to do this. Um, uh, was that Ellie on like a kind of head voice dominant sound, classical um, legato feel? What did he do? <laughs> yeah. He's kind of keeping this and making it really floaty. Okay. So many qualities. He is not sticking to. So apparently, this little gremlin that Ellie is is like da, 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 down here. Then, oh, which you know is allowed, <laughs> but it's so characterful, it's crazy. <laughs> oh. A5 up there, oh! <laughs> it's lovely. Notice the mouth shape as well, very round, pouty. She's, I think um, Elizabeth went, swapped from smooth onsets where things kind of happen together, um, you know, the vocal folds and the breath. And then we had that on a aspirate onset with that H at the front, really engaging our core. Um, lovely head dominant voice. We need to be exploring this part of our voice because we don't speak in our head voice, right? We don't speak up here. I speak in our head voice and bring it down here because it would sound really funny. Um, unless you're, who sings it? He said, oh, -ho, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> So we want to explore that because we don't speak, we speak in our chest voice, right? So it's wonderful that we're exploring these lovely high notes. What is going on elsewhere? Quick, sudden crescendo, creating drama. We are not even a minute in, I need to carry on. <laughs> I need to go. I need to go. Ah! Oh, hello, E5. Ah, yeah. Whoever, I'm going to think, I'm going to guess it's Ellie. So we're not surprised because we've heard this note before. But ah, 
yeah, it's open and there's a lot more. It's different to his uh, operatic quality, classical quality that we heard before, head voice dominant. Here we are still quite balanced, but there's a lot of twang just to get a little bit more of that speech-like quality and a little bit more of a mix happening. So we've got that connection. <laughs> in the cauldron <laughs> goodbye um lane i feel like <laughs> he's having a whale of a time -da 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 -da. the living is true um characterful self and i'm here for it let's go back and then we had like a lovely kind of imitation from ellie <laughs> It's a little bit darker. Maybe the larynx is going to get involved as well. Just create a little bit more of a sub quality. <laughs> oh, so they're drinking and it's creating them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're drinking this potion that they're making. It's making them go all funny. Um, as he comes in for the second line, we get a little... Oh, a little cry onto there. It's very, like, cartoon-like. That's what I mean by characterful. It's very animated um, and explorative. Ex they are exploring. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Um, yeah, it's just, it, they're exploring. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Experimenting. <laughs> Wow, Lane, like this is in, this is genius. <laughs> this is me bowing. I still can't get over that part. Anyway, we passed that. Um, that lovely ascending, was it from Jeff, kind of underneath, was really lovely the second half of that moment. Uh, ladies doing wonderful things as well, changing the rhythm and like beatboxing. And so, you know, there are no, there are no words. No, I meant, you know what I meant. There are no words. So we have to create uh, interest and it, for it to be entertaining by obviously visually, but also dynamics and how like, uh, what sounds we can create. And obviously they're doing all of that. But here in this little section, it's so, it, that lovely kind of bell, bell effect that we got from, I think Elizabeth started off and then we went round and just obviously heightened. Let's go back. Bom. Oh, actually, bom. it's, they are matching what they are doing visually, what we see it, what we are seeing to what they are doing audibly to what they're doing with their sounds, which is lovely. So they're creating like the sound effects and creating it in this piece, which is so great. <laughs> Jeff just dropping. I think he's staying on the same note through all that. Yeah. On the beat. Which is why the second time around sounds different. So he's just hovering on that short, stabby. Actually, it is the. I think that's a mixture of Elizabeth, Ellie, maybe Caesar as well. But otherwise, Jeff's staying on that boom, 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 hovering there. So, apologies. <laughs> I've heard that now. This is so great. I love that. Wait, wait, wait. 
sorry, Caesar. <laughs> I do apologise. We've kind of got, have we got a different chord kind of laying underneath? It's, it feels a bit more majory, maybe? Yeah, I'm feeling like we're getting a little bit here. Duh. It's kind of like we're... God. <laughs> it's kind of going that direction. Whoa! <laughs> Where is Jeff going? That smack from Caesar. <laughs> okay, Lane is officially having the most fun that I think I've ever seen him, even more than that boy band one which he was absolutely living life. But <laughs> I love that he's given himself this. This is so fun. And like I said, that's Mac from Caesar. Okay, uh, there is so much to talk about. He's kind of got this dopey sound again. Do, 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 do. Like it's dropped a little bit and he's kind of like holding back a yawn almost. Um, and he's really leaning into that sound, which is super fun. So we're kind of naturally creating that space. That soft palette is lifted because that's what we kind of get when we yawn. And then we get a nice kind of dark la 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 <laughs> from Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sounds like goofy. <laughs> what does he do? I can't do it. <laughs> like, Jeff, what? I think he just repeats but down the octave. C sharp one at the bottom. What in subharmonics? Did I get that right? <laughs> I mean, they're just repeating, right? But then... And the one below the piano. <laughs> yeah, who's on that? Yeah, so in this little section that we hear repeated like four, five times, we repeat, which is on that F sharp, E, D, C sharp, then... C We have the same kind of motif happening on starting with the beginning of D. So we get this jammy chord. Then on that final one, we'll be here. Jeff reach that C sharp one. So an octave, an octave lower than this one. We also get la, 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 from Elizabeth. So not only are we dropping down, repeating and building up voices, but we're also kind of going la, 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 changing our tone <laughs> as we go. And we're going further apart. So we're creating a fuller sound. Um, Wow. Oh, it's quite light there, actually. Oh. 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 Where are we going now? I need a sip. How incredible <laughs> is this? Um, I'm about to be like, let's take it from the la la la's. Can you give me a bar number? <laughs> We're kind of going back into the um, characterful voices from Ellie and Caesar solo wise. Caesar again being a little bit more brighter with their larynx position, a little bit higher to create that brighter feel. <laughs> 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 Oh. What? Mm. I'm 
so sorry. I'm making noises because I'm feeling this and I'm missing them too. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. And every time I do it, they're doing something. Okay. <laughs> Wait, yeah. did that was up from Lane? Yeah. <laughs> Lane! I'm just gonna keep repeating his name! Well, was I just a poet just then? <laughs> his ability, just how the, the speed, first of all, is so impressive, but just the arrangement of all this and like going into different kind of sections. And then on top of that, kind of putting like effects to his voice, like you, the, you've you showcased this beautifully. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a burp down there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all these visuals are so great as well. I uh, there is so much to talk about. Oh, I liked that evil harmony. <laughs> La, where did he go? Okay. What's ha what's helping as well? <laughs> I know I'm just like having so much fun. What's helping as well? This brighter quality is helping them to feel light as they go, as they ascend. Uh, into like their mix or their first passage and go through uh, talking about Ellie and Caesar here specifically but this kind of characterful voice is that twang is helping them both to keep light up there not bring up any heaviness not bring up too much of their thick folds because naturally like that little passage you're going into your first part the second passage or right so your vocal folds are thinning out we don't want that to be too heavy that's why it's so good and I want people to experiment with being <laughs> extremely ugly. Like, ah, just because then we can always dial it down. Obviously for this, keep it, it's probably needed. But it's just helping a lot to keep that brightness without bringing that heaviness up, which is wonderful. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going into Doctor Who then. <laughs> What is that? Do, 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 do. That actually just reminded me of Bang Bang, Jesse Jane, Ariana Grande, Nicki Minaj tree. I think that's what it reminded me of. <laughs> wow. So. We got up to a D6 C sharp six. Uh, but before that, lovely placement from Elizabeth we had a lot of that dark kind of feel in those in that head dominant sound and then we sprung up into these like whistle kind of territory i think it was quite full really like it's very connected head voice we need to be relaxed up there we can't bring any heaviness so it's wonderful <laughs> this da, 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 da. there's a lot of like oh sub sub quality in there da, 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 da. Octave. Yeah. So we have uh, an octave plus one, a semitone up there. C sharp five jump to D six. C sharp six. That's Doctor Who, right? <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> uh, no, sorry, my mistake. It was D five D sharp C. D5, D6, C sharp. Woohoo!
gonna have to do this again. What was that happen? What did that happen in? It was when I did my voice play week. <laughs> so much goodness. Two minutes, 47 seconds. We still got a whole minute unless they're going to talk at the end. God, I need to hurry up because it's already 27 seconds. That's 27 minutes that I've recorded this again. Yeah, hello. We're getting into a little bit of a jazzy feel. We're changing the rhythms. Jeff is leading this kind of rhythm change. Do, 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 do. It's kind of like jazzy, bouncy feel. And those stabs are helping too. Wait, wait, what was that? Hold on. <laughs> oh. I know I paused at the most ridiculous times then. Uh, so we're gonna have to go back. Lane, so you, not only did you arrange this, but you also just killed your friends. I mean, then you also kind of vanished. <laughs> wow, <laughs> the speed of it at the end. The different kind of heightened characters. We got a lovely <laughs> Evil laugh from Caesar. Wow. <laughs> Is that let go? Are they actually saying words? I don't know. But this aspirate onset from the ha 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 down here. We are then not keeping it breathy. We're then finding that clear connection at the bottom. Ha 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 ha. Building up in suspense. The speed again. I would submit. Oh my god, it's specifically for. Wow. Stazzle, thanks for watching. It sounds like. It sounds like either Stitch or Mike Wazowski. <laughs> oh, it's another long one. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, I don't. I absolutely love that. <laughs> It's just so, obviously, like, it's going to be entertaining, but it's just so, they are pushing boundaries <laughs> um, and just experimenting. And that's what's so great and fun. And it's just really enjoyable to watch. Wow. Thank you so much for watching my reaction and analysis video. If you did enjoy it, please go ahead and click that subscribe button, the bell button and the thumbs up button. I need to wrap this video up pronto. Um, but yes, thank you so much. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye.